This chunk of battery is out of a 2013 Chevy Volt. And this was a, an expanded pouch with some expanded cells. And it was given to me by Mike. And thank you, Mike. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I did a capacity test on this where I took it apart and found that it still had a good 473 watt hours of usable capacity, which is fantastic. Uh, so in this video, I think I'm going to try to package it into something that is easy to move around and not kind of flop in open like this. <laughs> something that's a little bit safer to work with uh, so that, you know, randomly here and there where I might have a need for a 12 volt battery, I can grab this. So here we go. And these are LG pouch cells. And so this is one cell. And then it's uh, welded together at the tab tabs up here. Uh, these are copper bus bar tabs. So this is the main positive and the main negative. So it would be fun to arrange this in some way that is easy to work with and is not going to fall over. Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's take it apart a little bit more and see, uh, see what we don't need in here. Uh, I don't need these cooling fins anymore, so I'm going to take those out. So if we open this up, we can see more cells, and then it looks like there's this piece of blue plastic with a foam ring. And that looks like it's to kind of match up with the shape of the cells. I think I still have this blue pouch from this one. I think I took it out earlier. Let me go check. Yeah, so here's that blue pouch. So, so that looks good. Got this big cutting board here. And my thought is that I can make two sides to it. See one here and one here. got two even pieces. I don't know if I can use this old belt sander, but I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, never tried sanding plastic with it, so I don't know if the, the plastic will just melt or, or what, but let's try it see if it works. Yeah. Yeah, that looks really nice nice for my purposes. Great. So I'm just trying to line it up where I like it. So this is the main negative and the main positive is over here. And I'm kind of curious to see if there's a way that I might be able to wire from here over to this post and then I could have screw posts for the positive and negative. First thing I want to do is verify this post is not electrically touching anything else. Okay, good. So no continuity, which is what I thought, but I uh, just wanted to verify that. Let's see what happens with this. I just grabbed a spare piece of three quarter inch copper pipe. And then I flattened it out and I cut it lengthwise, drilled a hole and kind of bent it around here a little bit. And I think this might actually work. So if I put this on here, do is try to open this gap a little bit. I'm cleaning up the inside of this pipe with some sandpaper so that hopefully the solder and flux will hold. I just ordered this product. It just came in the mail. So this stuff is called some solder paste and I've never used this before. 
and I think it'll be fun to try. It's apparently solder and flux together in one. And one of the reasons that I think it might be good for this application, a low temperature, uh, 280 degrees Fahrenheit, I think it melts at. So with a lower temperature, uh, safer for the cells. Okay, we'll start with the heat gun. Because it, it certainly looks like it's melting the, the flux, but I don't know if it's melting the solder. I don't think that did it. That looks like it got sucked in there a lot more. All right, let's see if that held, I don't know. Yeah. There we go, right off the stud. Great. Well, I guess that thing, that stuff did hold. Awesome. Well, that was fun. So now we have a, uh, a way of tying it over here. Let's try running up some rod and just see if we can line everything up. All four corners have some uh, nuts on them and the threaded rod, so that, look, that part looks good. Now there's still a lot of flex in here, so what I wanna do is look nice and close and make sure I'm not pinching any of the cells. So that looks good. We are at 2.2 inches, so I'm gonna use this as my gauge. Okay, now I can trim these tips off because I used three and a half inch screws. All right, so these are, are good now. Now there's one other thing that I want to do. Uh, this cutting board was just a generic size and it, these uh, corners uh, protrude past just a little bit. So if I was to try to lay it on its side, I mean it's fairly stable, but it's not resting on the green board, it's resting up here on these things. So I'm gonna cut these off. I don't have any need for them anymore. By cutting this off flush, it can now sit on its side and it's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> right now the pack is at 10.6 volts. And I went ahead and wrote the uh, voltage on here. 12.3 would be 4.1 volts per cell, 473 watt hours, and 10.5 volts minimum. And now we've got this cool package with smooth sides with a positive and negative uh, screw post that we can just screw our wires to. And I think that's pretty nifty. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.